Hello. Thanks for dropping in. Oh, I heard a noise. That must be Rudy. Well, I don't really have a pad as such that I like what I was using to mark things, so I've come up with another something. Oh, I have here a notebook. And in it ooh, are pages. Pages and pages. I'm going to try and rip one out. Oh, I don't know. And then I'm going to fold it over. And crease it very well. And fold it over. Except it doesn't want to fold over quite where I had it. You know what? I'm just going to try. If I have folded it well, it feels like pretty skinny paper. Okay. okay. Oh, another thing I've decided is, because I can, I do want to keep track of these chips. I'm going to, even though they're bad, I'm going to put them back in. Because this is an interesting failure. And I want to just have them handy. And if I don't put them back in, probably I will lose them some. Or not lose them, but I'll, I'll lose track of what they are and how significant they are and where they are. And then I'll wish I just put them back in. Because, of course, the note that I'm going to write will make it clear. Okay. March 2022. Bad. <sighs> Bad. Bad. Suspected. Bad. Other. Sixty-five, twenty-two. Um. Sixty-five, oh two. Okay. Nine, oh one. Four, eight, six, dash. Zero, six, okay. Um. The other test. Now, I plan to get on this. Oh look, I could have written that on there. Oh well. Where is my tape? There is my tape. So be it. Alright. What's a little more tape? Orange. Screen. Alright, so that can sit there. This can sit there. Now, here we have the good big 20, which I am plugging. Well, I can plug in. with one other, other, other part of this. I'll turn around, make sure it comes up. And it does. Now here, here's the keyboard from the Big 20 that I've been testing. 
but I've not tested the keyboard. And it doesn't look like it's going to fit terribly well in terms of the case. It does not. So I won't try and force it to. I am going to plug in the keyboard and the LED. And then I'll have this sit a little bit ragged here. And that will come back. And then I can push. Alright, well that's kind of weird. Did I get this in properly? It really only goes one way. But it is possible. Oh, okay. That is very possible that what we have here is a keyboard that needs. Oh, did the LED work? LED does work. The keyboard is filthy. That is another thing to add. I said notations. I'm just going to set that there. I like to keep everything all together. But while I'm here, I should plug the original keyboard back into this. Because, although I don't suspect really that there's anything else that's wrong, um, if the same, it is possible at times that if the same keys come up and fail on two different machines, that it can be something else. So this keyboard does perform better. Not perfect, but definitely better. Oh, that shift key's not working. What about that one? Yep, that one's working. Shift lock. Well, it's hard to tell with nothing on the screen. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so this, this keyboard, too, needs some attention. I think it is the, perhaps the European model. It has tiny characters. All right. In order to tidy this up, okay. Here is the test machine. It works. Dirty key. Oh, dirty keyboard. Case. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's about it. So we're gonna put a screw back in here. I didn't have one in here before, but it's good to keep things all together. They don't fly open. All right, now the other sick laser copy. I need to put the cover air back over the big chip. And oh, update the note. Very. this machine gets working, so be it, they can all stay together, but parts are always good. And somewhere out there, I saw a message recently, someone was upset that someone was parting out a machine. Well, it is, I mean, it's good to think that every single machine can be saved, but it's not 
through, but it's better that the parts from something are able, oh yeah, look at that, that is something. Didn't see that before. And I've got nothing else plugged in. I've just put things back where they were. Yeah. That almost looks like there's a program on the uh, the MS DOS version machines where it, wow, that's funky. Where it'll go out and look at your hard drive and then give you a report back on where everything is and everything was and everything, you know. Wow. That looks like it should be the background in some music video. In time with the music. I wonder. I do have everything in there, right? Yep, everything is in there. And I bet you, if I turn this on and off, it won't come up the same way. It'll do something else. Remember, it was just orange, or perhaps it was yellow. I saw a hint of purple. Oh, it's snowing. Wow. Now it's blue. All right. Well, I do, as I say, I tend to get to this and figure it and start it. But that doesn't always happen. But I hope it will. Because I've got to get things better organized and really figured, sorted, and dispositioned. that could be so this by the way this does have a very interesting serial number it is six 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 nine nine three be a great hand if you're playing poker with what do they call it pregnant threes are wild pregnant threes and poker means that three sixes and nines are wild couldn't get better than that Let's see if Trudy has something to say. As he might. Oh, he will be done in a bit. Although, for this moment, I think I'm pretty done with this machine. This is actually one. Maybe I should hold off on putting these videos live and I should take this machine to him and say, Rudy, what do you think? And see how he does at the diagnostics. But I don't expect I'll do that. But you never know, at some point, maybe I'll take all the defective things and parts and such, put them in another VIG-20 and then see if he can uh, sort it out. He has said I should call him. I believe he means at 2 o'clock. One thing I'm going to do right now, though, is I have these discs here. That are defective. And I'm going to, I have discs over here. Oh, oh, oh. His next meeting is at 2. Anyway, I have some discs here. 
that do not have sleeves. So I'm gonna use, I like these verbatim sleeves. I'm gonna stuff some discs in them so that they can be better protected. And you know what? Maybe um, in a moment I will call Rudy. I think for this moment I'll call it a day on this for the moment. Um, and I shall ponder. I gotta find my desoldering equipment and see about this. Vic 20. There could indeed have three or more failures. Can you imagine? <sighs> Alright, until we meet again, thanks for coming. Bye for now.